So tonight for us um, is about sharing some knowledge and some information, um, helping support small business. That's what we're all about here at JPR. Um, all of us here are uh, accountants with a, a large degree of experience in business. We've done some high returns and we've done tax, but these days it's more about businesses helping them, helping them grow, helping them become successful. That's really what we're about. We want to spend our time working with successful businesses. And we've got plenty here tonight. There's a few who couldn't come, which is unfortunate, but it's what we're about. So I'm um, happy to take questions as we go, uh, comments, insights, whatever, in terms of what I present, um, because we're here to, to mutually benefit one another. Um, the particularly dark picture there that I've chosen to start with, does anyone know who that is? Any Game of Thrones fans here? No? No, that's a few. Good. That's the late, great Ned Stark. Ned, Ned is sitting on what's known as the Iron Throne. Now, the Iron Throne in Game of Thrones is what everybody wants. Everybody looks at it and thinks, I want to be there. There's eight different uh, countries and dragons and queens and kings and everybody all want to be there. And yet you can see the way Ned's sitting there, he's not particularly happy about actually being there. Um, and to me, that's a little bit of an ana analogy with small business and small business owners, that it can be quite a lonely, dark place that you really don't know who to trust. You have people running around telling you all sorts of things. Um, you don't know if you can believe them or not, and you don't know who to go for advice. So everyone outside a small business tends to think instantly that a small business owner is wealthy. It's absolutely no doubt. They're all wealthy. Um, they all have really easy lifestyles. They've got lots of money. All their staff love them. They never, ever don't turn up. Um, all their customers pay on time. You know, it's just really easy being in small business. And we all know it's the exact opposite of that in a lot of occasions. Um, okay, so we'll go from unhappy Ned there, who I'm not sure why he's got that big sword. If it was a small business owner, it might be waiting for his worst customer to walk in the door perhaps and um, deal with them. But anyway, we'll move on. Okay. So just to start with, to go from the past to the current and very much the future, in terms of accounting, bookkeeping, analysing your numbers, all that sort of thing, it's now all cloud-based. If you're not on the cloud, you very, very much should be. The transition's been happening amazingly quickly. Cloud accounting is fantastic. It gives you a direct live feed from your bank into software like Xero, uh, MyOB Account Right Live or Reckon. Your accountant can be invited in and get instant access to your figures and your accounts can be done one touch. So the old days of having a ledger, having someone input, someone code it, then someone fixes the error, someone recodes it, and eventually you get a set of accounts is long gone. So I don't know, uh, many here on Zero or live feeds? Have we got a show of hands of a few? Excellent, not enough, but a few. So um, very much encouraging everyone to get onto that because it is the future and it's coming really, really quickly. Um, and if you're not sure how fast the world's moving, Scotty, if you can just show that other, um, this is a great slide if you like an interesting website. This is brilliant. This is internet live stats. This is everything around the world happening right now. So on a daily basis, there's 179 billion emails being sent. There's a billion websites up and running, all that sort of thing. This is where the world's at and this is where it's going at warp speed. So if you're running a small business, you need to be part of this and you need to have cloud accounting as a starting point and Lord knows where we'll be in a couple of years' time. The whole thing could be even a lot quicker. That's livestats.com, great site, I love it. I look at it all the time, just to check it's still working. <laughs> okay, so we're all part of that whether we like it or not. We still get clients who say, oh, I don't trust the net, I'm not paying my bills over the web, or I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. Seriously, come on, just get with the program. 